My name is Lauren Mote. I'm the Diageo Reserve and World Class Global Cocktailian from Canada. Women have always played a critical role in the hospitality industry, and it's amazing to see these days that more and more women are rising up through the ranks, not only taking their rightful place behind the bar and making incredible drinks and experiences for people, but they're taking on larger roles. They're running bars, they're taking more executive positions with spirit brands, with global agencies, and we're just really happy to see that the world is becoming a little bit more tight-knit, a little bit more equalized, and we can all share in this together rather than making everything about gender. My passion in this profession has always been a couple of things. Number one, it's about people. I love the people that I work with, I love the people that sit in front of the bar, and I love the people that I buy spirits from. Every single person that touches every aspect of making cocktails, whether it's the farmer that produces this, um, the incredible ingredients like the garnishes, the fresh herbs, the fruit, or it's the people behind making some of the most amazing spirits that we have the opportunity to use with great stories of heritage and craftsmanship. But the people in front of the bars are the real, the real stars here. They're the ones that sit at our bars countless days and are just guinea pigs for our wonderful creations that we're making. And in that together, we are helping to build the drinks industry into the future. The trend that is gaining insane popularity behind the bar is not really a trend at all. It's something about the way that we have to operate in our daily lives. And this is all about sustainability and how we can be more resourceful in the way that we make cocktails and the way we run our businesses. Some people would think that being resourceful in their business could cost a lot of money, but we are trying to craft different options and different ways, tips and tricks, that people can be more resourceful in their businesses, which actually in the end is better for the environment, helps them to make more money and increase the bottom line. So I would like people to start looking at sustainability and caring for the planet and the earth and the people around them, not as a trend, but as a way of life. Well, we've, well, what I find in mixology anyway, it's we're going back to our roots as bartenders. Bartenders 200 years ago were people that stood behind the bar and created wonderful experiences for people based on what the wants, needs, and desires were of the guests sitting at the bar. I would say that for me, being a bartender that's been working in the industry for almost 19 years, what started as quite simplistic in learning the basic classic cocktails and basic highballs, basic old fashions, Manhattan's, daiquiris, three or four ingredient drinks, ended up going through this insane revolution and expansion to include 10, 15, 20 ingredients and then all of a sudden all of these insane ways of making cocktails, but now we're coming back to basics. So I think uh, definitely in the next three to five years we're going to start to see the appropriate involvement of different service styles, of uh, different techniques like using dry ice or using you know, different rotovap or sous vide or things like this where we're blending the food and beverage industries together a little bit more. Um, but I also think that we're starting to drink more simply. If I want something refreshing on a hot day, I'm probably going to have a highball. I'm going to have a scotch and soda. I'm not, likely not going to reach for an old fashioned. So I think we're just becoming a little bit more in tune with what our tastes are and we have more options to come back to basics. And that's, that's real mixology.